Now to Luzerne County, where a man is taking matters into his own hands to catch child predators. But who is he and is what he's doing legal? Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustis introduces us to the man known as the predator catcher. Musa Harris is the last person you'd ever want to be confronted by. Give me some money. You sure about that? Sure. You see, he's known as the Luzerne County predator catcher, confronting those who are alleged child sex predators. They tell me, watch my stuff out there that I'm putting my stuff. They don't they don't encourage me to do what I'm doing because I put myself in harm's way. Exposing alleged child predators is Musa's full time job starting in March of 2020 after being inspired by videos he saw of others doing the same thing. Musa creates profiles online and pretends to be a kid looking for sex. If an adult shows up to meet him, that stranger gets a big surprise when Harris starts streaming the encounter on Facebook Live for his followers to see, and he has a lot of them. Musa tells Newswatch 16 he's confronted more than 160 people in northeastern Pennsylvania, including here at this Valero gas station in Kingston. He said what started out as a hobby quickly turned into his life passion. It's important so the kids can have a safe place and not worry about these these creeps. And I, I want to give the parents an outlet to know that maybe this could be their next door neighbor to watch out. But the question remains, is what he doing legal? We turn to former Luzerne County District Attorney and Judge Peter Paulaszewski for answers. Without doing any research, I think it's perfectly legal. I, again, he's a witness to, to a potential crime. That's what he is. He's nothing more, he's nothing less. Attorney Ashevsky points out that every case is different. At the end of the day, if prosecutors are convinced that somebody indeed committed this crime and this gentleman gives you evidence of that, take a shot. As a father himself, Musa hopes no child has to go through this. If this was your kid, your 13 year old, what would you think the consequences should be? Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.